Well, we're standing here at the steps of Gregory Gym on the campus of the University of Texas at Austin. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the mother of all gyms here in the state of Texas. This was an absolute show place in 1930 when it was finished. And of course, it's still a show place today. And it's bearing in on its 100 year anniversary. Uh, you can see we've got a gorgeous sky in Austin, Texas today. So I thought I'd come up here and, and share this place with you. Uh, we're not going to go inside. COVID-19 is, is preventing us from that. Maybe I can add some still photos at the end. Uh, but just a phenomenal place. Needless to say, it's if it's not my favorite gym, it's, it's on a very, very short list. But Gregory Gym finished in 1930. A gentleman by the name of Thomas Watt Gregory was instrumental in getting this gym uh, planned and built and completed. Uh, he was a distinguished alum of the university, uh, being a member of its very first graduating class. And he was an attorney general for the United States of America. He returned to Austin and made sure this place got built. There was a big need for it. When it was built, Gregory Gym was the largest gym of its kind west of the Mississippi. So we're gonna zoom in here on the entrance. This is the main entrance facing Speedway, uh, a real busy place on the UT campus. And here's a look at the main entrance. Uh, you see those dark spots on the wall. Those are plaques honoring Thomas Watt Gregory. I don't know what I can show you over here with the glare but there's the the ticket booth which I think is occasionally used but we're going to take a look around uh, like I said this is just a tremendously historic place beyond the game of basketball people like Janis Joplin and Count Basie Bob Hope they performed here and then for all you basketball enthusiast Pete Maravich LSU Tigers you know, New Orleans Jazz, Boston Celtics, Pete Maravich played his very first varsity game right here in Gregory Gym, scoring 42 points, which was two below his average that year of 44. Now Gregory Gym housed or hosted the UIL Boys and Girls State Tournament as soon as the building was built. And many of those seats back in those days, if not all of them were general admission. So for big games, people would line these steps and wait outside, ready to storm their way in and, and find the best seat. Uh, and the seating's gorgeous because it's all, all balcony seating. And even UT home games, uh, general admission. So people would line up on these steps and, and race in to get the best seat. Of course, I'm partial to this place because I'm a UT grad, but here's a Here's a little marquee on the outside of, of the north side of the building. And of course the university does a magnificent job of landscaping the entire campus. But here's a view from the north side. You see all these gorgeous windows that are still here today. Arched windows, all these little staircases. Uh, if you can see through the trees there, those little windows, that's now a uh, well, that's a weight room for students, recreational use. Um, here is the main entrance on the north side, which this is really not ever used anymore, this north side entrance. I'm sure there's some things that go in and out of this place. Well, I'm by no means an architectural expert, so I've, I've tried to pick up on a few things, but a lot of detail, a lot of workmanship. Uh, the foyer of Gregory Gym features some built-in trophy cases with a lot of ornate woodwork. Uh, it's got an arch ceiling, beautiful chandeliers. I mean, wh when you think of a gym, do you really think of chandeliers? But of course, Gregory Gym has it. Uh, I've told you earlier about the, the boardroom with the fireplace. Uh, it's just a neat place when you get to explore all the nooks and crannies of the gym and, and of course it's been altered over the years but you get out onto the court and you see the horseshoe balcony 
seating. You've, it's got a stage on one end. The seats are very steep, so the sight lines in Gregory Gym are amazing. You, there's not a bad seat in the house. There are seat. There is seating down on the floor, but I think the best place to watch the game is is up in the balcony. Really, the front row of the balcony. I love sitting there. You feel like you can reach out and grab the ball, you know, along with the rest of the players. One neat play, thing about Gregory is, you know, it had a, what they call a bird's eye maple court, which was extravagant of the day. And it, that original wood floor lasted 66 years. It was replaced in 1996. Alumni and people like that uh, got to take home a section uh, of the court. Exterior wise, uh, architectural features, this is considered a, a Romanesque style building, very masculine, which is a departure from the rest of the university. If you know anything about the architecture on the campus of UT, you know that this gym stands out among a lot of really beautiful, beautiful buildings. There are some places in Texas that resemble uh, very closely the architecture of Gregory Gym, but I love I love these arches here uh, and this faux balcony way up high, and you know the Spanish style roof. This is just a gorgeous building. I wish we would still continue to build places like this because you know if I'm a player and I walk into a place like Gregory Gym, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to play really hard. But this is just a fabulous place, and uh, I love bringing it to you. And uh, be sure and like and subscribe to Backroads Basketball. Thank you.